Problem number one, evaluate the flux of this vector field over the boundary of the box. X runs from zero to one, Y runs from zero to two, Z runs from zero to three for this vector field F. Uh, how are we going to do that with the divergence theorem? The double integral over the boundary of the box of f dot uh, d sigma here, f dot n, I should say, d sigma, is going to equal the triple integral of the divergence here. How do we find the divergence? The divergence of f is equal to the partial derivative of this respect to x is 3 plus the partial derivative of this respect to y is 2y plus the partial derivative of this with respect to z, that's zero, and then we just add up the three partial derivatives here. And so all we have to do is integrate z from zero to three, y from zero to two, x from zero to one, three plus two y, dz, dy, dx. And so this transforms what would be yeah, let me just draw the picture here. This really feels like it should be six separate vector surface integrals because we need to we need to uh, uh, evaluate the flux of f through each of the six sides of the box here, and then we trade that in for one extremely straightforward uh, triple integral. So what do we have here? Uh, integrating this with respect to z just ends up um, just ends up multiplying the answer by three. Integrating this with respect to x, there's no x in here. Just multiply the answer by one. So it's three times the integral y from zero to two of three plus two y dy. So three times. 3y plus y squared, plug in 0 to 2, and so we have 3 times 6 plus 4. Okay, so that is problem number 1. Problem number 2 here, so integrate f of x, y, z is x squared plus 3y, z over the, re over the surface that has this parametrization here where u and v are both between zero and five. How do we do this? We are going to uh, have to do the following steps. So number one is that we need to uh, do partial derivatives and the cross product of those. So the partial derivative of this respect to u is going to be two, one, three. The partial derivative of this with respect to v is going to be 0, 1, 1. And then our cross product is going to equal this 3 by 3 determinant. Everything is nice here. It's just constants. What do we end up with? The i hat component is going to be 1 minus 3 is negative 2. The j hat component is 0 minus 2 is negative 2. The k hat component is positive 2 here. Okay, so this is our, this is the, the cross product here. This is a scalar surface integral. How do we take care of scalar surface integrals? We multiply, we're going to need the magnitude of this. So we're going to have the magnitude here is negative two quantity squared plus two, oops, negative two quantity squared plus two squared. Uh, so this is going to be uh, four, 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 square root 12 here for the factor that we throw in. And then our integral is going to equal u runs from zero to five, v runs from zero to five, and we are going to integrate, let's see here. We need to take our function of question here, x squared plus three y z, and substitute in x is two u plus one squared. 
and then plus 3 times y is u plus v, and z is 3u plus v. Okay, and so here is our integral that we have to evaluate to finish off this problem. Straightforward but tedious. I'll skip the details.